My name is Cameron Kahn. I'm an infectious disease physician and I'm also the founder and CEO of Blue Dot. Using big data to predict the spread of infectious diseases is so important because the world is experiencing an unprecedented number of dangerous outbreaks. If we just think back to 1999, West Nile virus showed up in North America and has changed the landscape of the continent forever. And this is happening because the world is experiencing population growth, urbanization, and we have billions of us moving across the planet and we're now carrying these diseases with us, triggering dangerous outbreaks around the world. Now, while we're experiencing all these global trends, there's another set of trends that we can really harness. The advent of big data, the development of artificial intelligence, the global adoption of digital technologies. And so essentially, what we need to be doing is thinking about ways to spread knowledge and insights faster than infectious diseases themselves. So we're able to analyze vast amounts of online data to essentially detect infectious disease outbreaks in ways that we weren't able to before. We were using increasingly artificial intelligence to be able to filter out all that background noise and, and to find those true signals of an outbreak that's actually occurring. We have access now to data from satellites that are orbiting the planet and gathering information about environmental conditions. So we have some insights about whether a mosquito is able to, to transmit a virus to people. And we also now can access data on billions of people and their movements across the planet through air travel. So we can get some insights about whether or not a disease is gonna spread, and if so, where and, and how it might spread so we can get in front of that particular threat. In 2016, in fact, we use many of those different types of data sources that I just described to predict the spread of Zika virus across the Americas. And we did this even before the World Health Organization had declared Zika to be an emergency, and in fact had predicted an outbreak in Florida six months before it actually occurred. So this is a good time for us to be talking about big data and infectious diseases because we're at the 100 year anniversary of the Spanish flu. Uh, and that virus led to the deaths of 5% of the world's population. When there's seven and a half billion of us on the planet today, as you do the math, you can see that this would be a, a catastrophic event. So we have the opportunity to be using big data and AI to detect these threats faster and to respond to them in a far more intelligent and smarter and efficient way.